Last weekend in the Cold Turkey Tournament, the Bobcats came out with three victories against St. Andrews from Canada, Gilmore, and the Newark Generals. The last game against Newark being a 10-2 final score. The Bobcats' lone loss last weekend was St. Edwards, the runner-up in last year's state tournament. This weekend starts with two games, the first against the Walsh Jesuit Warriors. It's the Bobcats and the Warriors, and it's next. Right to Nick Powers, Powers in the net, he shoots, he scores! Biscuits in the net for the first time this season. Passing in front, shooting and wide, it's loose, and what a save! Gavin Sudlow with the stick save! On his backhand, goes to his forehand, now backhand right to Cassin. Cassin shoots, he scores! Powers, back and forth, shoots, he scores! Nick Powers, it's 4-1, baby, let's go! And welcome out here to Tamo Sh or to Slater Family Ice Arena. Got used to saying the Tamo Shanter Ice Arena from last weekend. Like I said, Bobcats were three and one last weekend, uh, getting victories against St. Ed's, shutting out Gilmore, and St. or losing to St. Ed's, shutting out Gilmore, be beating uh, St. Andrews uh, College from Ontario, Canada, and. Newark Generals as well with a 10 to 2 final score. Bobcats in their home whites tonight uh, with the red numbers, no nameplates, makes it harder for me. Uh, black pants, red helmets. Sudla will get the start in net wearing the black helmet, the number 30, the Bobcat senior goaltender with backing up will be Cade Contras, wears the number one. And then on defense will be Drake Joseph will get the start with Easton Schick. Other pairing for the Bobcats are Casey Moore, Sean Gallahan and Caden Wisniewski will rotate the three of them. And then up front, you'll have Braden Clausen, Clausen centering Luke Johnson and Rhett Winger, the lone freshman on this Bowling Green squad. And then the purple line is the Bobcats' second line this after, or tonight with Shane Casson centering Nick Powers and Cooper Feehan. And then the third line will centering Bryce Ebersbach, and then you'll have rotating a cast with Caden or Camden McIntosh, Nate Harris, Alex Lorenzen, and uh, Camden or Camden was or Camden McIntosh, Nate Harris, Alex Lorenzen, and Nate Harris, and JT Webb as well. We'll rotate on that Bobcat third line tonight. Walsh Jesuit uh, wearing their away. Away uh, maroon, I would say maroon with the yellow trim, yellow nameplates, yellow numbers with the Walsh Jesuit across the front. Again, Bobcats wearing their home whites, coached by Connor Agassi, assisted by Joe Kosick. And then just a fair warning, tomorrow's game at 1.30, I did take off of YouTube as there will not be a broadcast um, by me. It will be on BCSN here locally, and it can be purchased for $10. Uh, to watch that game tomorrow afternoon. And we come back, we'll have puck drop, in a, er, starting lineups, and puck drop right here on YouTube.
Panthers, the Walsh Jesuit, and the Bowling Green Bobcats. Starting lineups. For the visiting Warriors, on defense, number six, Colton Zeen. His defensive partner, number 13, Parker Kufo. At forward, number 23, Joe Holzer. Number four, Noah Colasanti. Also at forward, number 25, Josh Weiner. In goal for the Warriors, number 30, Brody Lurch. The Warrior coached by Pete Caleri and assisted by Bill Beard and George Wright. At every home game, one Bowling Green Youth Hockey Association player who attends Bowling Green City Schools is selected and recognized as a future Bobcat. Today's future Bobcat is Joey Obergen. Joey plays for the Mike Hall Stars and is in the second grade at Conneaut Elementary. And now for the home team, your Bowling Green Bobcats. On defense, number nine, Drake Joseph. Also on defense, number 13, Easton Schick. At forward, number 19, Nick Powers. Number 22, Cooper Feehan. And number 23, Shane Cassett. In goal for your Bobcats, number 30, Gavin Sudlow. Head coach of the Bobcats is Connor Rigowski and is assisted by Joe Costick. Now you please rise and we ask that you remove your hats as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem. Welcome back, Slater Family Ice Arena, Bowling and Bobcats, Walsh Jesuit Warriors, just about set. Wild, Bobcats, not Wildcats, Bobcats. We wearing their home whites again, red numberings, no name plates, while Walsh Jesuit wearing their maroon jerseys, name plates, yellow numbers, red trim, yellow name plates, with the Walsh Jesuit across the front. Gavin Sudlow gets a start in net for the Bobcats with Easton Schick, Drake Joseph, with no Braden Loomis in the lineup today for the Bobcats. Uh, it will be actually Nick Powers, Cooper Feehan, and Shane Casson getting the start up front for the Bobcats.
Two referees today, not the normal three for the Bobcats. Something to keep an eye out for. Less penalties might be called, less offsides, less whistles in the game today. Kasson ready to take the center ice face off against, I believe it's going to be Colasanti for the Warriors. And off the draw, Kasson wins it to Feehan. Feehan kicks it to Powers. Powers and Kasson. Feehan going to the zone. Three on two shot. Saved by, by the Walsh Jesuit goaltender. Powers hit, checked off the puck. Walsh Jesuit off the boards and out over the head of Joseph. Interference will be the call. Sudlow will come to the bench. Touching up is Feehan now on the puck. Sending it, trying to get it over to Powers. Couldn't corral it. Clawson off the bench is not going to be able to get there in time. And it'll be Bobcats early power play coming for the Bobcats. The interference will be the call on the Warriors. Bobcats will send out, will leave the same five out there. With Cass and Powers, Feehan, Schick, and Joseph. Kasson off the draw, gets tied up, and Walsh Jesuit will win it all the way down. Sudlow leaves it for Joseph. Joel Holzer, two minutes for interference. So interference to call on Holzer. Now puck goes go right into the Walsh Jesuit bench to halt play. 14-17 left. Bobcats on the power play. Off the draw, Kasson tried to tie it up, goes, gets the puck to himself, back to the point for Schick. Schick able to walk in, goes far side to Joseph. Joseph shot, looking for the tip from, Kass, or from Powers, couldn't get it. Kasson now walking from the short side shot, off the glove and into the corner for Feehan. Feehan loads to Powers, Powers looking to go to the point for Joseph. Joseph, skate, holds it back, gives it back to Powers. Powers sends it back down low for Kasson. Kasson leaves it for Schick. Schick will activate down low. Chick goes to Feehan. Feehan right to Cass or Powers in the slot. Chick ch or stick check. Casson holds it in. Casson on try to send it back down in. Now Sudlow plays it to the corner. It'll be Joseph to set up. Now back to Wisniewski. Wisniewski leaves it for Joseph. Joseph leaves it for Clawson. Clawson leads out the breakout. Has Johnson going up with him and he'll dump it in with Winger out there as well. Johnson can't hold it in as it'll be more off the bench to regroup for the Bobcats. Now it'll be Wisniewski dumping it back in for Johnson and Clawson. Clawson on it. Leaves it for Johnson. Johnson overskated. Now Walsh Jesuit able to get this one all the way down. And Wisniewski in a battle. Slipping and falling is the Walsh Jesuit warrior. Now Clawson to regroup for the Bobcats. Takes it in front of the net. Get some speed and he'll go the other way. Possible three on three for the Bobcats. Clawson risks this one on net though. Glove saved. And Warrior goaltender will hold on to it. Nine seconds left in the Bobcat power play. It'll be Clawson in for the face off. Off the draw, Clawson lost it. Warriors back on it, behind the net. Well, Jesuit clear out. And back to full strength. Warriors dangle into the zone around Clawson, back to the right point. Shot will go right into the chest of Gavin Sudlow to halt play. Ebersbach with Webb and Lorenzen to start this third line. Off the draw, tied up are the Bobcats. Webb able to chip it out. Bobcats hard on the pressure, get it to Lorenzen. Lorenzen couldn't get there in time. Now it'll be Walsh Jesuit sending it back around. Holding it in is Wisniewski, sends it around for Lorenzen. Lorenzen leaves it for Moore. Moore looked to Webb in the slot, couldn't get it to him. Now it'll be Ebersbach 
trying to let this one go. Icing will be waved off. Ebersbach over skates, now more. Leaves it for Ebersbach, Ebersbach. Dangled one, pokes it to Lorenzen, Lorenzen. Trying to poke it out to Webb. Webb poked it out, lost his stick. He'll come to the bench, Powers hops on. Now it'll be Wisniewski. Now, Walsh Jesuit back on it, on the in the corner. Moore gets his stick lifted, lost the puck for a second. Walsh Jesuit back on it. Dangles Ebersbach, now walking from the slot. Shot blocked in front, Wisniewski tied up his man. Shot will go again, saved by Sudlow into the corner. Now Ebersbach. Ebersbach will send that one down for an icing will be waved off as it was tipped. Now Powers in the back, gets the puck back for the Bobcats. And Joseph will chip that one back down in. He'll chase after it. Now Powers at the point. Shot will go right to Cass in the slot. Shoots. He scores. Shane Casson poked home the rebound after the shot was blocked by the Warriors. And it's 1-0 Bobcats. Puck squirted free right to Shane Casson. Looking at the replay here. As the shot was taken from Powers. And it's 1-0 Bobcats. Meanwhile, off the draw, Warriors will send it back in deep. And playing it is now Casson. Casson leaves it for Feehan. Shane Casson, assisted by number 22. Cooper Feehan and 19, Nick Powers. Time of the goal, four minutes. So four minutes. It'll be Casson from Feehan and Powers right at the four minute mark into the thir first period. Bobcats up one nothing, Walsh Jesuit back on it. They'll send this one right in the slot to Winger. Winger one touches it to Johnson. Johnson goes one on three here. Johnson dumps it in. Walsh Jesuit active goaltender will send it around for Winger. Winger sends it back down low for Johnson. Johnson. Pokes, puck, pokes right in the air. Johnson to survey. Leaves it for Joseph. Joseph sends it back down low for Winger. Now Clawson. Clawson sends his man to the boards, and Johnson. Clawson picks it out. Walsh Jesuit back on it, though. Trying to hold the line there with Schick. Puck will squirt into the Walsh Jesuit bench to halt play. Again, Bobcats, if you're just tuning in, Bobcats getting the goal off from Shane Hassan. 11 minutes left in the first. Poked home the rebound. It'll be Clawson out there with Gallahan and Wisniewski, Winger, and Johnson. Off the draw, Clawson lost it. Walsh just went back on it. Now it'll be Winger's turn to forecheck for the Bobcats. He get, pokes the puck free for Clawson. Clawson gives it back to the point for Gallahan. Gallahan sends that one high off the helmet right to Clawson. Clawson sends it right to Johnson. Johnson tried to one touch it to Winger, couldn't get it to him. Wisniewski, back to Winger. Winger sends it low. Puck will now squirt free to Wisniewski. At the point, Wisniewski sends it low for Winger. Now it'll be Gallahan. Gallahan sends that one wider than that purposely to Winger. Winger, he's hit hard. Clawson now, Clawson leaves it for Johnson. Johnson, back to Walsh Jesuit. Now Clawson hard on the puck, gives it back to Johnson. A lot of offensive zone time here for the Bobcats with Johnson, Winger, and Clawson. Winger will head off for a change. Clawson now pokes behind the net. Right to Johnson in the slot. It's loose. Goaltender will cover up for Walsh Jesuit. Smart cover there by the Walsh Jesuit goaltender. Knowing his teammates were tired. It'll be Ebersbach, Harrison, McIntosh. Ebersbach off the draw. This line played together well last year. Now Ebersbach shoved off. Harris just trying to get the puck to the net to McIntosh. And Walsh Jesuit still on the puck and able to get it out with Harris now dumping it back in. Now all th three Bobcats attach the, the boards and Walsh Jesuit with the clear breakout. Walsh Jesuit into the zone, halts up. Back to the left point. Shot will go, blocked in front by a Bobcat. Around behind the net are the Warriors. Loose in front, now it'll be Gallahan clearing traffic out for Ebersbach. Bobcats go the other way, three on two. Ebersbach dumps it in. 
First two, though, is Bryce Ebersbach. He falls down awkwardly. Now McIntosh. Back to Ebersbach. Ebersbach trying to get it to Harris in front. Now Ebersbach. Harris battling. Point will go to Moore. Moore dumps it back in for Harris. Harris cross-checked in front. Nothing's going to be called here. Now Harris. He's hit hard. Not, still nothing called. Clean check there by the Walsh Jesuit player. Now it'll be... Harris able to get that one out. Icing leaves off. Walsh Jesuit sets it back up. First line back out there with Feehan, Powers, and Casson. Icing will be called on that clearing attempt by Walsh Jesuit to hold play. 7.39, fast pace, first period. Here between the Bobcats and the Warriors. Casson in for the faceoff. 1 0. Casson does have the goal for the Bobcats. Off the draw, it's tied up. Now Powers and Fee and Casson all digging for it. Back to the point to Wisniewski. Wisniewski's shot will go right into the chest of the Walsh Jesuit netminder with some traffic in front. Will be Casson again for the faceoff. Casson off the draw, gets it back to himself and over to Joseph. Joseph walks in with the wrister shot, loose in front. Feehan was tied up. Now Wisniewski sends it low. Powers trying to kick it back for the Bobcats. Now Feehan sends his man up to the boards. Wisniewski unable to hold that in. Powers possible two on one here for the Warriors. Warriors in, shoots high. Warriors best chance of the night. So far, unable to capitalize on it. Now it'll be Casson taking it over. Casson back to Powers at the point. Shouldn't get it out. Now it was Newski. Second attempt will do. Back down low go the Warriors. They send it though. Both teams will send off for a change. Now Clawson and Winger first two for the Bobcats. Poked up free right to Joseph. And he'll mishandle it. Walsh sends it to the corner. Big check there by Drake Joseph. Now Clawson going the other way. Possible three on two if they can hurt. Clawson up to Johnson. Johnson has Winger crash in the net. Uh, stick, No stick there for a Walsh Jesuit player. Winger falls into the boards. He gets up. Puck will find, it'll be more pinching from the point. More pinching. J Clawson covers for him. Now it'll be Johnson trying to get a puck behind the net for Winger. Walsh able to send that one down. It'll go for an icing on the play. 6.09 now left in this first period. Bobcats, as you can see, are up 1-0 from a Shane Casson goal. And that goal happened four minutes into the period. Same five will remain out there for the Bobcats. Schick, Moore, Clawson, Johnson, and Winger. Clawson off the draw, wins it back to Winger. Winger back to Schick. Schick deflected in front there by Johnson wide. Johnson is trying to send it low with Schick. Johnson keeps it, now walking from behind the net. Johnson, short side, loose in front. Clawson couldn't handle it. Schick, now shot, net's off. And face off, I believe, will remain inside. It will. Clawson off the draw, tied up. Johnson able to dig it for it. Clawson as well. Now Winger poking it for your other Warriors, though, out of the zone. Brett Winger takes the worst of that check. Two on one again now for the Warriors. Gohan goes down low, shot again high by the Warriors. Holding the zone, though. Poking it free is Joseph out of the zone. Now Johnson on it. Johnson trying to poke it free was Clawson. Warriors back into the zone on side. Gohan's shoulders checked, missed it. Now Warriors back on it. Shot will go right into the equipment of Sudlow into the corner. Now it'll be Clawson. Clawson to Winger. Winger tried to get it out for Johnson. Now second attempt does. Johnson goes by himself one on two. As the rest of the Bombcats were changing. Now it will be Ebersbach to control. Ebersbach's pass off of a Warrior right back to him. Warriors send it back to the corner. Now Ebersbach 
Self chipped right back to Walsh. Jesuit tipped just wide there in front of the net. The net does come off its moorings the whole play. Four thirty or four forty left. Ebersbach off the draw, pokes it all the way out. Him, Lorenzen, and Webb will all go in after it. Now it'll be Walsh dumping it back in with Nuski first two. Reversing for more. More. Hits the referee now with help from Ebersbach trying to peel it out. Walsh, Jesuit able to get it out with now Webb turned it, get, got it back to the Bobcats. Walsh sends it back in. Wisniewski sends it back to his D partner and more, more. Try to get it to Webb, couldn't get it to him. Now Ebersbach pokes it behind the net. Ebersbach lost the puck. Walsh sends it right in the slot. Webb slowed him up more as well. Webb and Lorenzo can go the other way. Webb smartly gets it just out and he'll head off for a change. Three forty-three left. Wisniewski unable to get that one out. Hand pass will be called though on the Warriors. Off the draw, it's Powers and Kasson getting it. Feehan in front. Powers now behind the net. Feehan trying to get free in the in the slot. He's interfered with. Racks his Schick at the point. Schick holds it in. Schick wrists this one right on net. Saved by the Walsh Jesuit goaltender. Kasson again in for the faceoff. Tied up. Walsh Jesuit gets it out. Or comes out of it with it. Now on the back end is number six. Powers trying to get it back for the Bobcats. Now Joseph chips it up to Feehan. Feehan lost sight of it. Into the zone. Three on two go the, the Warriors. Shot will go wide of the net. Again, something big the Warriors have been doing. Tipped just wide again by the Warriors. Now Warriors at the right point. Shot will be blocked there by Kasson. Poked right to Schick and Powers. Powers. Up to Kasson. Kasson leaves it. Try to one touch it to Feehan. Couldn't get it to him. Now Powers back on the puck for the Bobcats. He'll send it low for Kasson. Kasson tried to one touch back to Powers. Powers first two though behind the net. Powers cycles for Kasson. Kasson right in front of Feehan. To Powers hits loose in front. Off of a couple bodies right to Joseph. Joseph on his backhand holds it in to Kasson. To Feehan. Feehan to Kasson. Kasson on his backhand again. Loose in front is Feehan. Covering up there is the Walsh Jesuit goaltender. Now to be Wisniewski shot blocked there. Moore unable to hold it back in. Moore sends it in on delay to offside. Lawson tipped that, clearing that exit pass. And that'll be Johnson taking over. Johnson up to Winger. Winger tipped it in on the other side of the red line, so it'll go for an icing on the play. 2.07 left in this first period. Bobcats up 1 0. Face off for Clawson. Clawson wins it. Back to the corner for Wisniewski. Wisniewski to Winger. Winger poked it around one, blocked the shot, and that hurt him. Rhett Winger with the big shot block. He'll come to the bench. Now Johnson in the corner is Clawson. Now it'll be Wisniewski. Back up to Johnson. Johnson couldn't get there in time. Now it's McIntosh out there with this Bobcat 
Clawson and Johnson. Hits the Walsh Jesuit Warrior, now Johnson into the zone. Around one, falls down. Trying to send it back in deep as Luke Johnson gets help from McIntosh. Now it'll be the Warriors going the other way here. Clawson will send him to the ice. And Wisniewski will take a penalty as he runs in over him. Now I don't think that was really a penalty. They're actually gonna call it an elbow on Caden Wisniewski. So Bobcats to the box. Now Kassin off the draw, lost it. Walsh holds it in at the right point. Wisniewski, two minutes for elbow. Two minutes for elbowing the call on Wisniewski. It'll be Kasson again in for the face off. Off the draw, Kasson lost it, walking in, out back to the left point of the wall stretch, a one time shot, come save right off the mass of Sudlow into the corner. Schick pokes it free, now Kasson able, able to get it back. One minute to play in the first. Walsh from the cross ice pass, walking in left circle, shot score. Walsh ties it up on the power play, it's 1-1. Bobcat penalty killers lost sight of the puck and allowed the Warrior to walk in. Sniped Sudlow, it's 1-1. Fifty-three seconds to play in the first. It's now one-one off the draw. It'll be Kassin. Leave Wisniewski leaves it for Kassin. Kassin to regroup. Leaves it for Feehan. 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 Into the zone on side of the Bobcats. Kassin hard on it. Big shoulder check, and that'll draw a penalty. They could get him for charging. I think might be the call on Shane Kasson. As Nick Powers talking to the referee, I'll take another look at that. As the puck hit the corner, Kasson took it. Slowed up, eh. I don't know if that's really a penalty. It's, uh, the guy hit the boards hard, and they will give him a two. So Bobcats back to the box. They'll have to kill another penalty with Clawson. Johnson, Schick, and Wisniewski. Cross checking the call on Kasson. Shot will go off the skate of Schick and Wisniewski. Able to get that one out off the boards. Walsh being forced back out by Clawson. Clawson poked it free. Clawson fights through. He's gonna. He's hooked up. Nothing called. Now Clawson took a shove after on on that guy that hit him, and now Walsh walking in, shot will not be able to go as the buzzer sounds to end the first. And 125 will remain on the penalty to Shane Kasson when we come back for a second period of action right here on Facebook Live or on YouTube Live.
Welcome back out here to Slater Family Ice Arena. Second period underway here. It was off the draw it was Clawson winning it. And dumping it down deep. And then Clawson sending it all the way down. With 105 left in the penalty to Shane Casson. Again, your 1-1 one, one, your score. Shane Casson, the goal scorer for the Bobcats. Walsh went into the zone. Deking Schick sending it loose in front, behind the net. Sudlow had to make the save. Tick check there was Joseph sending a Jesuit player to the or Warrior to the ice. Now Warriors back on it, sending it down low from the left circle. Back to the left point. Over to the right point, walking back to the left point. Sliding on this fresh ice. Now Johnston forechecking. Pass shot will come, walking in, shoots, looking for the sh backdoor play. Schick with the stick lift. Johnson in, unable to get it out. Now to be Joseph. He'll risk that one all the way down. Johnson, uh, Clawson towards the end of his shift, will head off. Now to be Joseph. Gets it out of the zone with the help of Clawson and Johnson. Now while Cheshire went back on it, poking it out of danger there with, at first was Nick Powers and Bobcats will get back to full strength. Now Schick, hard around. Holding it in at the zone and for a second there is Walsh Jesuit Powers trying to poke it free, couldn't do so. Now Feehan could go the other way here. Now it'll be Schick. He's interfered with battling one on two. Now Kasten takes over. Uses Joseph as a screen. Walsh Jesuit player falls down along Kasten to break out. Sending to send it back in deep. Now it'll be Feehan losing the puck. Walsh Jesuit back into the zone. Joseph slowing his progress. Easton Schick. Now it'll be Kasten. Kasten fights through the stick check. Now Powers lost the puck at the point. Shot will go right into the chest of Gavin Sudlow to haul play. Blossom in for the faceoff for the Bobcats. Lost it, Walsh Jesuit wins it back to the right point. Shot will be again blocked there by Winger. Still ailing maybe from that first period. Two on one for the Bobcats if they can hurry. Johnson now has Winger crash in the net. Johnson shoots, blocked in there. Now Winger behind the net, it's loose and they score. Bobcats want the goal. I don't think they'll, they're gonna get it. As not from this angle, you can't really tell if the puck went in or not. So it'll be Clawson in for the faceoff. Off the draw. Walsh Jesuit win it. They dominated the faceoff circle in the first period, and they've dominated it so far. Wisniewski now. Sending it back down in for Johnson. Wisniewski. Now Walsh Jesuit back on it. They'll hit the right red line. They try to dump it in. They'll take it in instead. Number four shot saved by Sudlow. Clawson off the draw with Winger. Winger able to chip it all the way out and off the glass, remains in play. Brett Winger poking it all the way, poking the Warriors all the way down. Now Clawson in the corner, Winger's tackled. Clawson comes out with it. Clawson turned it over though. Walsh Jesuit back on it. Now Joseph leaves it for Clawson. Clawson offside though are the Bobcats. Be Ebersbach, Webb, and Lorenzen. We 
As Walsh Jesuit hit the red line, they'll dump it in. First two is Easton Schick. Schick off the corner to Sudlow. Couldn't misplay it there, did Gavin Sudlow. Now it'll be Ebersbach. Schick poked it free. Lost the glove to Easton Schick. He picked his glove up. Now Webb could go the other way here. Walsh Jesuit unable to knock it down there was, was Lorenzen. Poking it back into the neutral zone, though, he does. Now it'll be Moore. Moore on his forehand. Lost the puck. Now Ebersbach behind the net. Uses it as a screen. On his pass attempt, his clearing attempt was blocked. Walsh Jesuit back on it. Now Lorenzen chips it back into Ebersbach. Ebersbach dumps it in. Webb first trying to get to it first. He doesn't. He finishes his check. Now Moore pinching. Moore at the point sends it back down low, causing traffic there in front was Lorenzen. Now it'll be Schick activating. Schick on his backhand. Has powers coming in from the, from the bench. And oh, takes a weird carom right to Nick Powers, though. Powers sauces it back to Moore. Moore. Shot will go high and wide. And Walsh had to play it first. Now Moore back on it, sending it back down to Lorenzen. Lorenzen, the slot shot blocked. Trying to pick it out. Holding it in is Wisniewski. Wisniewski again holds it in for a second. Going the other way, could Walsh could go on a possible break here. Moore first two, though. Moore chips it to Feehan. Feehan up to Powers. Powers lost control of the puck. And uh, dumping it back in as Walsh Jesuit. Now Moore turned it over. Left it right to Feehan in the slot. Right back to Walsh Jesuit. Shot saved by Sudlow. Because he's get to the corner. Sending it back low for Casson. Casson over to Powers. Powers. He is the red line over to Casson. Kicks it in right to back to him though. Casson shoots. Save. And he's tackled into the net. And play will halt. Now off the draw, Casson and Feehan tied up. Puck will find Walsh Jesuit to back, clears it out. Joseph sends it back in on the late offside. Icing, though, will be called on the Warriors on the breakaway pass attempt. Now Kasson in for the faceoff. 1-1 one, one your score, 9 away. Left in the second. Kasson lost, lost the draw. Warriors back on it. The dangled powers did the Warriors. Possible 3-on-3 three three going the other way. Around Joseph, now halting up in the slot. Looking for the shot. Saved by Sudlow. Sudlow had to come up strong there on that save. Now it'll be Clawson winning it to Schick. Schick up to the point for Winger. Couldn't get there in time. Now it'll be Big Gallahan to Johnson. Johnson leaves it for Winger. Icing not enough, and Walsh Jesuit though first two. They look to go D to D. They missed the D to D pass. Now Johnson, Johnson can't hold it in. Now Clawson, Clawson red line dumps it in. Takes a weird carom right into the goaltender. Winger will halt up. And cause a whistle. Now it'll be Clawson. Off the draw, back to Gallahan. Gallahan sends it low for Johnson. Johnson uses Clawson as a screen. Back to in front, couldn't find Winger. Now Walsh Jesuit back on it. Clawson. Takes it back. Gives it to Gallahan. Gallahan 
Off the boards right to Johnson. Johnson couldn't get there. Now behind the net is Luke Johnson trying to send it back to Clawson in front. Couldn't get it to him. Clawson now leaves it for Gollahan. Gollahan activates. Gollahan dangles one. Dangles in second. Now Winger puts the shot on net. Back to the corner. Now it'll be Walsh able to break out. Big check there by Braden Clawson on the Walsh Jesuit Warrior. Now Schick up to Winger. Winger leaves it for Clawson. Couldn't get it to him now. Now it'll poke free right to Winger in the slot. Winger just dumps that one in. Clawson to go in after it. Clawson, first two. McIntosh off the bench. We'll head right to the net. He gets it back, sends it back down low for Clawson. Clawson sent it, sent it in front for Johnson. Back to the point for Gallahan. Gallahan, half clapper shot, glove save, and cross checks the ice was Clawson. Poking it out of danger there as Walsh Jesuit player. Got Clawson's stick stuck in it. Now battling it will be Johnson. Fighting through the check. It'll be icing waved off. Sudlow being forced to play it. Sauces that one up to Ebersbach. Couldn't get there. Delayed offside for the Warriors. Allowing Sudlow to settle it for Schick. Schick. Leaves it for Harris. Harris tried to kick it out, couldn't do so. Tipped wide there by Schick with 6.30 in the period. Now it'll be Gallahan. Now it'll be Nate Harris fighting to first to beat the icing and it'll be McIntosh behind the net. McIntosh trying to chip it free. McIntosh now behind the net again. McIntosh trying to get Harris free. Couldn't get it to him. Pinching there is Wisniewski. And Walsh will send that one down for an icing on the play. Still 1-1 one, one your score between the Bobcats and the Warriors. Powers, Katzen, and Feehan will come out now for the Bobcats. Shot off the faceoff will come by the, from the Bobcats wide of the net. Now Powers in the corner. Now it'll be Walsh Jesuit. Able to, they hold it in for a sec, get some space, and they look to get it out. Behan collides with him. Delayed offside, and Walsh Jesuit back on it. Three on two the other way. Shot will go, saved by Sudlow, and into the netting to halt play. Big hit there from Cooper Feehan. Knocked the Warrior off the puck, but he gained it right back, did the Warrior. Now it'll be Casson over to Moore. Moore. Back to Powers. Powers. Nifty move there. Right to Feehan. Feehan over to Casson. Indirect pass here. Casson halts up, sends it right to the slot for Powers. Powers on his back end. Try to send it back to Casson. Couldn't get it to him. Now sending it low is Moore. Or was Newski to Moore. Back down low is Kasson now. Kasson's trying to sauce that one to Feehan in front. Now Moore activates. He'll send that one in front. Falling down. Back on it though is Casey Moore. The Bobcat sophomore. Kasson now. Now coming out is Wisniewski with it. Wisniewski, red line, he'll dump it in for Clawson and Powers. Clawson fresh off the bench. Powers, he's hit hard. It'll be Winger coming off the bench. Johnson first two. Icing though will be called on the Warriors. An offensive zone faceoff coming for Braden Clawson and company. Clawson off the draw, won it back to Schick. And now Johnson couldn't get there in time. Now gets it back in the slot. Does Luke Johnson sends it low for Clawson. Has Winger in the slot. Winger, he's interfered with nothing called. Now to be Clawson. Right back down low to Winger. Back to the point for Schick. Schick. Down low to Winger. Winger. Back to Schick at the point. Schick. He's going to let that shot go. It may have hit the post. And now Clawson on the... 
Back check, Puck will jump East and Schick, and now two on one possibly for the Warriors. Now it'll be Schick again. Schick left it for right to a Warrior, going one on one against Joseph. He'll halt up, sending it back down low. Clawson takes over. Clawson halting up. Looking to Johnson. Johnson whiffed off sides. No, they say they held it in. Now it'll be Winger with Clawson. Clawson dropped it to Winger, couldn't get it to him. And going the other way, four on two, go the Warriors. Now it'll be Schick. Schick's pass to Johnson. Johnson has sees Powers. Powers could go in here. Powers. With it. He's hooked up. The right to Johnson. Shoot. He scores. Luke Johnson slams it home. It's 2 1 Bobcats. Cassin in for the faceoff as Powers got that puck to the net. Nick Powers. So they are going to give it to Nick Powers. Johnson. When Johnson gets an assist. So Nick Powers gets the goal. Twenty-three Cassin in for the face-off for the Bobcats. He wins this one right back to Wisniewski. Wisniewski's wide shot went wide. Now Feehan, he's going to draw a penalty. Side low to come to the bench. And Cassin, puck will squirt free to Gallahan, and whistle will come to halt play. Warriors will head to the box here. the draw it's one right to Cooper Fian in the slot and Wisniewski was going the other way here and sending it all the way down are the Warriors Sudlow forced to play it around Warriors back in hold it in at the zone two minutes for cross checks and the call on the Warriors Joseph sends it around leaves it for Casson Casson around one he's tripped up nothing and that'll draw a penalty Sudlow to go to the bench Casson dumps it in goaltender covers up And the Bobcats to head on a five on three for a minute 31 for the Bobcats. That'll send Schick, Wisniewski, Powers, Behan, and Kassen, the five for the Bobcats. Schick, the only left, or Wisniewski, the only left handed shot on this umbrella power play. Face off one there by the Bobcats, back to Wisniewski. Now it'll be Kassin at the point for Wisniewski. Wisniewski's shot's blocked. And puck went all the way down. You're good. Now it'll be Kassin. Kassin into the zone, onside of the Bobcats. Dangles one, right to Fian. Fian shot, save. Now it'll be Schick, Schick. Shot will go, save, it's loose in front. Kassin with the extra poke before the whistle blew. And I think Kassin just picked up a two minute flashing call. So four on three will skate. They'll send it. Johnson Clawson. Schick and Joseph out for the Bobcats. Four on three still for the Bobcats. 
And Clawson will win the draw back to Schick. Two minutes for slashing. Time of the penalty, 12.52. So Kasson heads to the box. Clawson has Johnson. Leaves it to him. And now Schick. Back to Joseph. Joseph shoots. Ski score! No, they're going to wave it off. No, that's into the back of the net. First attempt, I think, went in for Drake Joseph. Doesn't matter. The rebound squirted free to, I believe it was Clawson. And it's 3-1. Power play goal for the Bobcats. Uh, let's take a look at that. As Joseph ripped a shot from the point. They thought it was in, and then it was Johnson or Easton Schick hammering it home. And it's 3 1 Bobcats with a minute 30 to play. Four on four, we skate. Drake Joseph. And they are going to give it to Drake Joseph. His first career goal for Drake Joseph from Clawson and Johnson. So Joseph gets his first career high school goal. Holding it at the line are the Warriors. Now Clawson battling. Clawson. Escapes free with Johnson, two on two, they skate. Clawson, try to dangle one, lost the puck. He's in the corner, now Johnson over to help out. Now Joseph, looking for number two. Joseph's shot will be tipped just wide there by Johnson. Or by Clawson, Schick. He activates with Johnson. Johnson, he's tripped up, nothing called. Now Clawson sends it right in front of Johnson. Clawson's hit high on the play, nothing called. Out of the box is the Warriors, and they have the 30-second power play. Johnson. Couldn't get it out. Warriors. Now Johnson. Powers is out there with Johnson, Schick, and Joseph. Joseph dangled one. Couldn't get it out, though. Around the net go the Warriors with 29 in the period, 17 in the power play. Now finding the left point. Over to the right point. Now rocking in. Shot will go, shot pass right in front, loose in front. Sutherland makes the save. Good shot pass there. Warriors back on it, looking for the pass again. Shoot save by Sudlow. Bobcats up three to one, 11, or nine seconds left in the game, or in the second period. Casson set to come out in its second. Clawson off the draw, will win it, or will lose it. Now Walsh walking in from the deep slot, shot will go, blocked in front there by Moore to Casson. He'll send it down, and that'll do it for the second period of play. Bobcats get two, one from Powers and the other from Drake Joseph, his first career high school goal. When we come back, we'll have third period of action right here on YouTube Live.
Welcome back out here at Slater Family Ice Arena. Third period underway here. It'll be off the draw. It'll be Joseph unable to get it out for the Bobcats. And Walsh back on it. Back to Feehan. Feehan to Casson. Feehan. Back down low to Joseph. Joseph. Takes a weird carom off right to Feehan though. Second attempt, Walsh back into the zone around Joseph. Now it'll be Casson taking over. Casson with some hop in his stride over to Feehan. Lost the puck. On the back, on his backhand goes the Warriors. Schick pokes him wide. Back to Casson now. Casson trying to jet the zone with Feehan. Casson and Powers going the other way. Casson takes him wide. Kasson on his back and right to Powers in front. Couldn't get it back to him. Now Wisniewski setting that back in front. Tipped just wide by Powers. Kasson sending it low again for right in front for Powers. Couldn't get it to him. Minute gone here in this third period. Bobcats up 3-1. to one. Now holding it in. Now more. More one-time shot. Will fumble right on net. And Fiam battling in front. And whistle will blow to halt play. Now to be Clawson. Wisniewski, his shot will go through the screen. Back to Clawson to Johnson in the slot. Now Wisniewski, try to send it low, couldn't do so. He'll halt up. Now Johnson to cover for him. First two though is Walls Jesuit. Now Johnson back on it. Johnson to Clawson. Clawson behind his own net. Gets help from Wisniewski now. It'll be, I believe that's Moore chipping it back out. Walls sends it right back in. Two, a minute and 45 left are gone in this third period winger now in the corner. Trying to self-chip, falls down, allowing Walsh to go into the slot. Circle shot blocked by his own man. Again, another shot blocked by his own man behind the net go the, the Warriors. Poking it free out of danger there. Blocked the shot, did Casey Moore. He falls down, interfered with nothing called. Now Walsh Jesuit sends it back down low behind the, behind the net. Shot blocked there by Wisniewski into the corner. Walsh back to the point, shot will go, tipped wide, took a double deflection there, so allowed to stick it safe. Wingers hooked up, nothing called. Puck will squirt free for Johnson now. Johnson has Brett Winger going to the net, sends it right to him. Puck, poke check, out of danger there by Walsh Jesuit. Now Clawson on the back check. He finishes his check a little late there, nothing called though. Now it'll be Gallahan, able to get it out with Clawson. Clawson, Winger. Leaves it for Clawson. Clawson into the zone. Poked it back in for Schick. Schick out there with Gallahan and Lorenzen and Webb. Expect Ebersbach to come out shortly. Webb now with Ebersbach off the bench. He's in the slot looking for the puck. Walsh Jesuit digs it out. Ebersbach now in the corner. Around the near side boards right in front of the Walsh bench. Gallahan steps up. Will take a penalty? Not sure how that's a penalty. How is that a penalty? That's, no, I'm very confused on how there's a penalty there on Sean Gallahan. He stepped up on the Warrior and... Where's the penalty? Uh, meanwhile, Bombcat shorthanded here. Sixteen, Sean Golahan. Two minutes for interference. Time of the penalty: three minutes six seconds. So Golahan for interference. They're going to give him the call, even though the Warrior had the puck. Now walking in from the right circle, here are the Warriors. Back to the left circle. Back to the right low right circle shot will be low. Shoots and scores. Sudlow fumbled the rebound and it's three to two. Another power play goal for the Warriors.
11-17 left. Bobcats still remain the one goal lead. Now Clawson into the zone. And number 21, Aiden Cook. Clawson, Johnson's alone in front. Shot will go by him. Joseph shot tipped by Johnson. Right to Schick at the point. Schick sending it low. Walsh intercepted that puck. Now it'll be Schick unable to hold it in with the stick lift. And that'll draw a penalty. And the Bobcats will head back to the power play with 10.47 left. Off the draw, it's going to be Clawson with Johnson. Tripping the call. Johnson now walking in from the slot. Schick wanted it. Johnson goes behind the net, sauces it to Clawson. Clawson misread the pass, and it goes back in the neutral zone. Clawson now up to Joseph. Joseph walking in. Joseph's shot will go right into the chest of the goaltender to halt play. Now Clawson to Johnson. Johnson lost the puck. Schick unable to get that. It'll be a hand pass ruled on the Bobcats. Face off to come all the way back down. Off the draw, it'll be Johnson giving it to Winger. Winger, red line leaves it for Johnson. Johnson with steam, goes forehand, backhand, poke right to Red Winger, poke, couldn't get the shot off. Sudlow will settle it down for Drake Joseph. Now Clawson. On side of the Bobcats, Clawson now in the corner. Trying to get help, couldn't do get it. And It'll be Schick over to Joseph. Joseph up to Feehan, Feehan. Couldn't get it back in deep. And the Bombcat power play struggling here. Now it'll be Schick over to Casson. Casson right to Feehan in the slot, couldn't get it to him. Now it'll be Schick, setting it low for Kassin. Kassin walks in, shot, save. Behan's stick was being held and out of the zone by the Warriors with six in the power play. Sudlow leaves it for Powers. Powers left it for Joseph. Joseph, this pass right to Wisniewski. Couldn't corral it to Kassin. Now Walsh going the other way. They'll send that one down for an icing on the play. 3-2 Bobcats lead 8.38 left in the third. And they'll send out the grinding line with Ebersbach, Harris, and McIntosh. All this line does is get the puck to the net and good things happen. Ebersbach into the faceoff. He wins it tied up. Harris will go right to the net. Puck will hit the point with Moore. Moore try to get it in deep. Harris... Now heads to the corner with Ebersbach. Ebersbach and Harris loses the battle, something you rarely see. Ebersbach trying to poke it free. He does. Now it'll be Wisniewski. Over to Moore, to McIntosh, to Harris. Harris. Wisniewski stepped up, sending a Jesuit player to the ice. Harris as well. Harris takes a penalty. And Bobcat coach Grigalski not too pleased with that call.
Off the draw, Walsh Jesuit wins it back. Harris, two minutes for hooking. They're gonna give him a hook to Nate Harris. The Walsh goaltender will play it up and Johnson intercepts to Clawson though. Clawson. Into the zone, shot will go high and ring all the way around to Walsh Jesuit. Walsh Jesuit back on it. Johnson couldn't pick it off. Now behind the net goes Walsh. Evading Wisniewski. Surveying, sending it back in front of the slot shot off the pipe. Good pass there. Now Moore couldn't get it out with Johnson's help. Johnson will though and Clawson will head off for a change. And so will Clawson and Johnson. So Casson and Powers to come off and kill the penalty. Puck will squirt free right to Moore. Moore, lone Bobcat to change. He whiffed on the clearing attempt. And Puck will squirt. Forgot to put the penalty on the, on the board with 45 seconds left on it. Shot will go high of Sudlow. Shot again, will squirt free right to Casson. Casson up to Powers. Powers could have a break here. Casson trailing on the play. Powers shoved off the puck. Good play, defensive play there by the Walsh, Walsh defenseman. Now Casson on it. Casson spins around one. Lost the puck. He's towards the end of his shift. He's got to get back. Now Walsh into the zone three on two. Around Schick, shot high, may have tipped his stick. Walsh keeps it in, sends it low. Sending it back in front for no one home. Walsh at the point, will send it back deep. Shot will go through, the pass will go through the crease and all the way out with two and one, Harris out of the box. Now Johnson picks it out. Johnson unable to hold it back in. Harris as well. With 5.50 left in the third. Icing the, icing the puck though are the Warriors. Clawson off the draw, wins it back to Wisniewski. Winger in the half circle on the half boards. Now it'll be Johnson sending it low to Clawson. Clawson on his stick lift, unsuccessful there. Johnson able to hold it in though with Winger. Winger sends out a Jesuit player to the ice. Sudlow plays it behind the net. Takes a chop out of this Gallahan, sending his man to the board, slipping and falling there was Clawson, or was Johnson. Shot will go on net. Now Gallahan runs over a Walsh player. Now it'll be Winger. Winger leading the rush. He'll self chip around one, gets to it first, does rep Winger on the stick lift. Winger behind the net. The bottom cat freshman looking into the point for Wisniewski. He'll cycle. Cycles high, shot will go right into the glove of the Warrior Netminder. Face off for Casson. Casson off the draw, tied up, lost it. Walsh first two though. Now it'll be, icing will be waved off. Schick brings it around for Powers. Powers leaves it be. It'll be an ice on the Bobcats. Four thirty-eight to play. Bobcats and Warriors three-two. Your score. Bobcats lead on the Drake Joseph goal. Warriors now walking from the shot slot, slot shot save. Puck will squirt free, icing was waved off. Warrior goaltender pretty, pretty active. Right to Powers though, Powers what a save, Casson rebound score. Warrior goaltender turned the puck over 
made the initial save, a great initial save. And Kasson slammed home the rebound. It's 4-2. Let's take a look at another look at that rebound save. Sequence powers puck was squirted right to powers through the stick out, and powers was actually gonna miss the net. It's high, and the goaltender saved it. It's 4-2, Bobcats with 421 to play. Casson off the draw gets it over to Feehan, who couldn't get there in time. Walsh sends it red line, dumps it in. Shane Casson. Assisted by 22, Cooper Feehan and 19, Nick Powers. Time of goal, 10.39. So Feehan now on the puck. Got an assist on the Casson goal. Now Powers on this backhand shot will send that one wide. Going first two with over the Warriors. Going to go between Drake's Joseph's legs. He's going to be hit in the face. Causing the net to come off. Now Evers Bach off the draw, tied up. Warriors walking in, saved by Sudlow. Big save there by Gavin Sudlow. We'll keep an eye on the Warriors goaltender here. Now Evers Bach off the draw, loses it. Warriors at the point. Webb activated too fast, and now Wisniewski in a one-on-one -on -one battle behind the net. Wisniewski chasing, could have been called for a hook there. Shot will go, save and through the crease. Sudlow may have gotten a piece of that one. Webb with Ebersbach. Wisniewski and Gohan out there. Gohan over skates. He finishes his check, shot again, saved there by Sudlow. Ebersbach, puck squirts free to the corner by Wisniewski with 3.11 to play. Bobcat third line struggling here to get it out. Shot will go, save by Sudlow. Now it'll be off the draw. Joseph and Clausen. Joseph lost it in the feet of the referee. Now Winger hip checks both Joseph and the Walsh Warrior. Now Clausen up to Winger. Couldn't clear it out. Winger. Shot will be blocked there by Joseph. Joseph smartly able to just send that one down. Will it have enough for an icing? It will. It will. 2.45 left. Walsh goaltender will remain in the net. See how aggressive Walsh is with pulling their goalie. Now it will be Joseph unable to get it out and whipping on the puck. There is Walsh, now Winger, digging for it, battling for it. There is right Winger, now Johnson. Now puck squirts three to Joseph, swings and misses, falls down here, break here for the Joe Warriors. Schick, big defensive play there by Easton Schick. Now the Bobcats three on two the other way with Johnson. Johnson dropped it for Winger. Now Schick poked it back into the zone for Kloss and couldn't get there. Walsh still on it in their own defensive zone. Big defensive play there by Easton Schick again. Still knocking that puck down. Now him and Winger converge on the puck. Winger's cross-checked. And now Jose, or Clausen sent down Winger. He's charged at, nothing called. Schick sends them both to the ice. And now Johnson, he's interfered with, nothing called. Play's getting real chippy out here. Empty net the other way. And I think the Warriors just took a penalty. With 138 to play, 
really chippy action there. Bobcats will head to the power play. For the remainder of the game pending a goal, Warriors had pulled the goalie. So shorthanded the Bobcats are on the power play. Shorthanded are the Warriors. Face off one there by Kassin. He slashed, nothing called. Kassin back to the point for Wisniewski. Kassin to Powers down low. Had Feehan in the slot, couldn't get it to him. Now Warriors send it back out with 120 in the game. Sudlow settles it down. 4-2 your score, Bobcats lead. Now it'll be Kassin. Into the zone on his forehand. Shot will go. It's loose in front. Feehan, he's charged at nothing called. As Nick Powers wanted to do something after the whistle, but didn't because he thought they were going to be a penalty. And Powers is still astonished that there's no penalty call. Meanwhile, 102 left. Bobcats still in the power play. Kassin off the draw, gets it to Powers. Powers shot was blocked. Now Feehan in the corner. One minute in the third. Powers sends it low for Kassin. Kassin tried to shun short side. Now Walsh going the other way here. Could have a break here against Wisniewski. Walsh goaltender will remain in the net. Schick and Wisniewski combined for a good defensive play. Now Schick on the power play with 30 in the game. 4-2 score. Bobcats lead. Schick rings it around for... Kassin leaves it for Wisniewski. Wisniewski back down low for Kassin. Kassin to Powers. Powers. Leaves it for Kassin. Feehan trying to get loose in front. Kassin shot off the back of the net. Now Feehan leaves it for Kassin with 20 in the period. Shot will go into the corner by Powers. Powers back to the point for Wisniewski. Wisniewski back to Powers. Powers walks into the slot. Drops to Wisniewski. Wisniewski to Kassin. One time shot tipped wide by Powers with 10 in the period. That's going to do it. Schick. He's being held onto by his face. <laughs> and the referee will finally blow the whistle after Schick was, had his helmet ripped off. They're gonna send both of them to the box. With 2.6 to go. Face off one, Bobcats will prevail victorious. And final score, four to two final. Bobcats will be back in action tomorrow afternoon. Again, that game will not be broadcasted by me um, here at the Slater Family Ice Arena. It'll be on BCSN and yeah. Thank you for tuning in. Have a good rest of the night and go Bobcats.